tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the 20, the 2012 League Cup has just begun the final. Two old rivals, two bitter rivals, and which two better teams can you choose to play in a big derby clash like this? 2012 League Cup winners, 2011-12 League Cup winners, Pascalo taking on uh, runners-up, Vic Vipers. Vic Vipers would want to make sure they revenge that. The ball will hit the ceiling, it'll be a side ball. Cooper over the top through the middle, looking for Castro. Felipe just gets it out. Blackburn. Cooper in front of him, Blackburn just gets it out. Or kicks it back, Pilati. To Joao Guilherme da Silva. Blackburn gets it back again to Pilati. Da Silva over the top, looking for Blackburn. And Costalakis came down heavily. He does well, it's come off the top of uh, Blackburn's head. Castro keeps it in, does well, Castro. Felipe kicks it out. Side ball. Two of the oldest rivals in football Victorian history go at it. Vic Vipers, uh, the Invincibles at one stage. as that one there. How close was that? They're almost going to the back of the net. As, uh, the Invincibles, for two seasons in a row, were not uh, even, no one who came in the close, taking away both. League and Cup, Castro does well. Castro the strength as the ball comes all the way back. Free kick to Vic Vipers. It was a pulled off the top. Cooper, dangerous position now. Bellardi and Blackburn in the wall. Cooper behind it. Should be a set piece from way back. Look out for Barry Entos' involvement in this. The back post. Oh, he went for, Cooper went for the back post for Castro. It was saved by Felipe. The ball comes to play. And Kiwimu! As Kiwimu just bangs into the back of the net. As he just went bang into the back of the net. And uh, nice ball there. Bully Ricardo cuts from the corner. And the Vic Vipers have struck first blood in this League Cup. Remember last season in this same picture, the Vic Vipers didn't register a score. It was 5-0. Sure, they, that sits uh, heavy in their heart. That sits heavy within all Vic Vipers players. Pascovo being pinned right back. The Vic Vipers doing all the attacking so far. Kuimu! Oh, out of the thunder! And Kuimu! Thunder strike. Strength in numbers uh, didn't prevail. They get the side ball, however. Felipe, will it be the day he kicks his first goal in the Premiership? Or uh, in the Cup, still get to register a score? Cooper. And uh, Felipe just boots it out. Over the top, Kuimu. Castro gets ahead to it. Cooper, now it's just Silva. Da Silva, over the top, and Da Silva has done it. Da Silva rounds a Postalakis and roofs it into the side netting, and it's one all. And what a game, ladies and gentlemen, with a little more strike. Kuimu opens up the scoring. And then last season's top goal scorer, Joao Guilherme Da Silva. Rounds up Ostalakis nicely, it was a big job, and put it into the roof. And let's have a save what the referee says, the big Vipers ball. It's keeper's ball, sorry, it was uh, the Sunday's ball, Casual the Magnificent. Barrientos, Juan Rijal da Silva blocks his game, being an absolute crackerjack. But Barrientos over the top. Jason trying the little scissor kick. That one there was a bit tricky. Pilati, casual than you said. What casual? But on a good save there, boy. And Fossilaka has had to do it again. There's a lovely ball back to, uh, from Casual the Magnificent. To Joao Guilherme da Silva. Fulton lets it go full. Cooper just whacks it out. Cooper not taking any, uh, taking it lightly at all. Stewie Mu comes back on. 
One, two, Fulton. Down the line, Kuimu. Petty's trying to find Kuimu back on. And Pilati uh, scraps the ball over to do rush through there. Barrientos, good header and good block. A magnificent one. Oh! Joel Guerlermi da Silva! It didn't look like it, ladies and gentlemen. He hit it, he came off the inside of Apostolakis' leg, hit the post, hit the other post, and it went in the back of the net, and it's 2 1. Plenty of kilometers ready to go in this game, and a most unusual goal. We're past Apostolakis, perhaps. Apostolakis thought he was going to hit it up higher. Pilati. Felipe. Back to Pilati. Blackburn tries to go over the top. Kuimu cuts it out. Avdic didn't see it. Kuimu coming in. Pilati. Big, big giant. Gets rid of it. Starting to become a little bit physical. Blackburn. Through the back. Comes to Felipe. Felipe goes for the big ball. Pilati across the goal and Postalakis had to be sure. That one there might have just dropped in the back of the net if Postalakis didn't get a hand on it. Pasco Vale Lions versus the Vic Vipers. Ladies and gentlemen, what a game. Over the top, Felipe gets it to Blackburn. Barrientos on his tail. Blackburn gets it over to Guilherme. The Silva, Felipe. Felipe goes to the centre. A little bit of lobby balls going on. Got to keep the ball on the deck. Fulton slows it down. Fulton over the top, that pinpoint. Blackburn and Postalakis stays in. Then Barrientos just gets rid of it. And rightly so. Blackburn saying that he was impeded. Daniel Schwarzschuller there, long ball, Blackburn. Traps it. Through the centre, doesn't find Pettic, does. Pettic lets it go. Felipe. Felipe's got options on both sides. Belém da Silva. Da Silva! Oh, and Da Silva means business today with a left foot shot showing the upright. And it's just gone out. It's hit the upright, it's gone out for a side ball. Well, 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 it's still 2 1. Plenty of time left in this picture. Avdic. Barrientos. Cooper. Barrientos over the top. Oh, as Avdic tried the karate kick, stop, kick. Rasuda there gets it long. Four seconds remaining. It wasn't, it was a side ball. And that's it for the first half, ladies and gentlemen. First half, we go into a 2-1 lead to Pascal. Another 20 minutes of pure futsal, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere, we we'll right back right after these announcements. We're flopping at the mouth. Get this second half underway. Thanks to our sponsors and our partners, Nike, Melbourne Auto Depot, Crust Pizza in Brunswick. If it's not in Brunswick, there's no taste to it. The ball comes to the centre. Guilherme da Silva pinches it. Big sandwich there. So Ricky Castro using all fours, but both feet and arms to get advantage. All smiles all around. It's good to see. Very classy player. Barry Entice. Back to the usual suspect, Cooper. Kuimu trying to get uh, Castro straight in. Da Silva, no Caro today, as you can see. Big crack there by Cooper. All the way back. Barrientos to the back post. Almost came off the hand of Felipe. Oh, and uh, I'll tell you, there was no appeals. 
Costalakis finds the usual suspects, Barrientos and Cooper. What a shot by Cooper! Oh, and Rashula there. He had no time to look at it. No time whatsoever. Barrientos! And there is another goal! As Johnny Barrientos! Ella Carla was cap! Almost identical, or was it when they played? I'm not sure this fish has been played so many times, but Johnny's just waltzed up and just banged the pass for sure there. Blackburn had Barry Enthos behind him, and I thought perhaps that might have just gone bang to the top corner. Nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, to all what a game. Patient play, the game's opened up a touch, with both parties getting a bit tired. Getting a bit long in the tooth as the game goes on. Ball was, Barrientos' ball was looking for Castro. Pilati. Over the top, Blackburn will bring it down, playing the big target. Over the top, Pilati will bring it in, Pilati through the centre. Ah, oh, Da Silva gets his hat trick. And Pilati done ever so well, but Blackburn, the big target. He brought it down. Pilati did all the magician work. Got rid of Kui Moo, sent it through the centre. And that boy, Guilherme da Silva, settled the score and got his hat trick, making it 3 2 as Casual the Magnificent gives away a free kick. Avdich can hit it, Cooper can hit it. They've got an armory all over the pitch. As Avdich, Avdich, back post was waiting. Oh! As Ricardo Castro wins his magic again and gets it through. I think it went through the crack of Rusula there. And there's your answer. Three all again. The ball came ever so hard. Castro wrestled like a pro wrestler. Did nothing wrong. It was perfect. Somehow got the ball around with a snapshot. Twickled through. Felipe to bring it in. Felipe over the top. Gets it long. Three, all the score, 11 minutes, 49. This game is set up for a hero. Who will come out and open it up as Cooper gets the ball. But Ravnitz, lovely play. Oh, it's a goal! As Ravnitz sneaks into the back post. It was a lovely ball and Ravnitz creeps in and gets the shot between uh, Janusz Rasula there and the post and it's 4-3. And for the first time today, the Vic Vipers are with the plan. We'll be back right after this time out. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're back from the timeout 4 3 after Avdich put the Vic Vipers in front. Pilati wrestling there on the angles. Ball goes to the Vic Vipers. There's a, it's been sorted out there. Pilati now shakes the hand. It's been worked out. Avdis to bring it in, the goal scorer. For almost 10 minutes remaining, just a minute over the just Petic. Petic with a shot over the top. Oh, Petic, he means business, Petic. Back post, Avdis off the upright. They could have been all over. As Avdis has come on a fire. And what a pick up, what a recruit. Fulton. Finds Felipe. Felipe trying to go through the yard range. The Silva. The Silva with all the tricks. Trying to have a shot and look at him. He's like 10 men. And all the screams of gear going around the stadium. The Silva over the top. Comes to Cooper. Barrientos got rid of it. Cooper. Fulton. Cooper. Comes to Castro. To Felipe. And a yellow card will come out, ladies and gentlemen. And Felipe gets the yellow card for his trouble. Free kick in a technical position, very lucky not to get sent off. Referee judging there was someone there behind him. Free kick back behind and the ball. Another ball as the ball's made for him. It's controversy as the ball's been over the line. As George Melatius has claimed it. It's gone over the line, it's 5-3. 
And that ball cleaned up. And Rashid has been sent off. Rashid has been sent off. As the clock's been stopped. Rashid has been sent off. As the big fighters are in the front five three. Sam Vice has been sent on to replace Rasul there, who got a red card ridiculously. Pilati, Fulton, over the top, Avdic will cut it out. Avdic. Castro, all the way back. Cooper, down the line. Barrientos gets the ball over to Castro. It's all holding the ball, all hands on deck now. Two minutes. Avdich down the back post. Baisa, and oh, and what I miss. Could this come back and haunt him? And that was a certain goal. You wouldn't read about it. It's hit the post. Castro over the top. Fulton to bring it in. All the way back to Pilati. Felipe. To Felipe, back to Pilati. Over the top, Blackburn. They were over the top. Blackburn all the way back, Fulton. Fulton, the shot, Fulton, the safe. Well, that ball goes out as Cooper grapes it out. A minute 16 remaining on that clock. Blackburn to bring it in. A shot, a great save by Costalakis. Fulton trying to stretch him. And Cooper just blasted away. This is a big win for the Vic Vipers. Felipe over the top. And uh, Blackburn couldn't bring it down. There's a Postalakis using all the tricks he's got. Over the top. Castro. Castro! into the roof of the bed. And that's the end of the ball game. Six, three all in. And it's a chance and a flick pass. Felipe, and it's game over. And it's a big, big old win for the Vic Vibers as the ball hit the back of the roof is the goal of Castro. And what a famous win. Ladies and gentlemen, how good is this? It's a big win for the Vic Vipers. They want to, they redeemed themselves from last season. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll go down to the interviews and to the announcements. Surely we'll be there. Final score, 6-3 in an action back League Cup final. The second edition. The Vic Vipers will get their name on the trophy. We'll be right back in a sec. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what a game. Firstly, thank you to you guys coming out and watching the game. Secondly, uh, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Nike Teamwear. We've got uh, Crust Pizza in Brunswick, uh, Melbourne Auto Depot, and uh, obviously Futsal Oz for putting this event on. What a game we, we witnessed today. 40 minutes of full action. I'm pretty sure whoever sat back and watched it was uh, thoroughly entertained. Got a couple of awards to give out. The first one, uh, the first couple will go to our officials. A uh, big round of applause to our officials for putting up uh, with what you saw out there. Can I bring up to the uh, Luke Mazza. Mazza, Luke, come up here as third official, please. I'm going to give you something, mate. Yeah. Well done, Luke. George Mamateas. There you go, mate. Thanks, buddy. Well done, mate. And referee Ever Abotis, well done. Well, well, thank you very much. Okay, we're going to run for it really quickly. If I could bring up the Pasco Vol boys, they're runners up. Uh, they're V League champions this season. They've had a great job, done a great job. Uh, you can't win everything, boys. You've done very well. And this time around, you are runners up. So, Andre, well done. Good effort, mate.
Great opponents, been great all season, and uh, that's what it's all about. Competition, played in a fair environment, and uh, uh, I'm just wrapped that we've got futsal at this level. Well done, guys. Uh, we've got one more award to give out, and this award is uh, to the best player on the field, and the best player on the field uh, is... Oh, no. Ricardo Castro. Stay up here, stay up here. All right, boys, we won't let you hang around too long. Well done to Vic Vipers, guys. You've played a game and a half. Uh, if I can have you guys come up here one by one, we'll give you your winner's medal and uh, soon present your trophy. Ricardo? Well done, mate. Thank you well done, that's your winner's medal. Cooper. Cooper. Well done, Adam. Excellent work, mate. Yusuf Avdic, well done buddy. Jason, well done. Fernando, well done. Well done, man. Well played, huh? Keb, well done, man. Kev. Kevin, well done, man. Let's make sure there's enough here, bud. Mirza, well done. They're trying to switch it. Trying to give you a runners up. Look at the door. Hey, hey, what's going on? Winners. Shame, mate. Well done. Nah. Nah, dude. Spizza, they're trying to cut you out. Give you a runners up. Trying to cut me out. Well done. Spizza, as coach, before we hand you over the, uh, the uh, trophy, mate, a few kind words, please. Make sure they're kind. Ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for That's it, it's Pisa. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the 2012 League Cup winners, Big Vipers. Come here, boys, for the final. Big round of applause. winning the League Cup final. What an awesome game, personally by yourself and the team. When did you think you had the game won? It was never won, was it? It was never won, not till the last you know, couple of seconds, obviously. You know, Pascoval, as they are, they're just a quality team, keep fighting right to the end, and um, we hand it to them. Like, all respect due to them, you know, they've won other Cups or whatnot, won the league, and um, today we just played better than them, like, unfortunately for them. You know, for us, it was uh, really good. We played as a unit, we defended well, and um, yeah, it feels great, man. It feels great to win a, win a cup, you know, so um, in my second game, so. <laughs> it all yeah. started with you, with Metropolitan, back 2010-11 season. Yep. Then he moved over to Brunswick. Yep. And now at the Vic Vipers and the Ultimates come in a short period of time. Exactly. Did you really think that was going to come so short? Not at all, not at all. I mean, this is just a, a credit to my teammates, you know, for putting in the hard yards to get to this position. And um, as I said, it's, it's just a team effort and um, I was fortunately enough the one to tap it into the back of the net, you know. So um, my teammates, all credit to them, you know. We work hard as a team, we're a unit and um, yeah, like congratulations to them to, for getting us here, you know. Now moving forward, you obviously got the FOS Cup coming up next season. Yep. What I've seen out there tonight with this squad, I'm sure you can challenge premierships, FOS Cup, Obviously, is that, do you feel the same way? I feel exactly the same way. Nothing's out of contention, but then again, you can't get cocky in this game. You know, it's that's why we love the game because anybody can lose against anybody. So um, we just got to stay focused, keep training, and um, yeah, hopefully it all works out as it did for this season. Since you've crossed over for Brunswick the last and now to, to Vic Vipers, 
you really control your aggression. Yeah. You're really playing the game and enjoying the game. You're not worrying about decision. You're not worrying about players. How's that come about, Ricky? Because at one stage you're a bit yeah. hot-headed, should we say? Yeah, exactly. Look, I had um, I had nobody controlling me on the sideline, telling me to relax or when to pressure, when not to. So um, that's a credit to um, in my coaches, you know, the coaching staff. So um, Spizza and uh, Milton, you know, they're the ones that have um, taught me that that bit, that vital part of the of football. And now it's paying off, you know. So um, yeah. I love this Ricardo Castro. I want to keep seeing this Ricardo Castro. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate right, it. Well done tonight. Great game. Thank you very much. For yourself and the team. Yep. And good luck in the FIS Cup, Ricky. Well done, mate. Thank you very much. I'm here with the Vic Vipers manager, Spiro Cargas. Great win by the boys today. Considering last time you were in the League Cup against Paco, they really gave you a good touch up 5 0. And to reverse in the role was a credit to you and the boys. Well done, Spiro. Thank you. Um, yeah, look, um, last season it was. Um, you know, the other way around, where we won the league and uh, lost the cup to them, and um, this year, you know, we, you know, we had that. Karma comes back and gets you. Yeah, look, you know, that's how it is. We've played plenty of games with each other. You know, they've had um, wins, we've had wins. You know, but I thought it was a good spectacle. Um, both teams uh, worked hard and played well. Uh, good for the fans to watch as well. You know, I've got to say. It was good to have a, a full list, you know, and you know we did the job. That was my next question. That's a master strike by you, Spiro. Last minute transfers, Ricardo Castro, Yusuf Avdic, slotted in nicely into this Vic Viper side. Now moving forward, Air Force Cup, you can use both of them, and in the Premiership next season, you're really going to give it one hell of a shake. Premiership, Air Force Cup. Well, that's right. You know, like um, when we won it back to back, um, I'm pretty sure um, Pascal Val, you know, coming runners up to us twice. You know, they were really hungry and you could see they were really switched on from round one this season. And uh, that's how we're taking it, you know, like... But Spiro, to you, all your fairness, it was a difficult season for you this season. You had players injured, players coming in and out. Suspensions. You, suspension, this squad going forward, disciplined squad, if you can discipline, I'm sure there's no reason why they can't win the 212, 213 Premiership. No, there's no reason why they can't. They've got the ability. Uh, obviously, there's a whole season ahead. You know, there's a lot of games. Um, but yeah, they've shown that they can do it, and that's why we've uh, we've bolstered the team with a few guys that um, had a bit of a run with the Vipers in the AF FAL Cup. And um, yeah, we're, we're pretty comfortable now that we'll have that eight or nine, you know, with a couple of youth guys if we need them. Um, so you know, we're comfortable to have you know a list that we'll play with all season. Spiro, well coached tonight. Great game by the boys and yourself. And good luck in the FIS Cup and the, in the season going forward. Well done, Spiro. Yeah. You're a true gentleman of the game. I will say it's a team effort. Um, obviously, Milton's got a, lo a lot of uh, say with this team, and obviously he's taught me a lot of things too. Um, so, you know, between him and myself, um, and even Gaz, you know, who comes in and straps the boys up and so forth, it's, it's a, a team, team effort. effort. It's a team effort, and that's why it's, uh, it's satisfying. Um, and, yeah, we'll, we'll be back now for the Futsal Oz Cup. And good luck next Wednesday, and like I said, for the season going forward. Well done, Spears. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you boys. Well done, mate. Thank you.